So what's up, I'm finally back up today. A really quick duck and bow video. I want to do that really quick. Of course, we got some really good news. We got some really good stuff for Global Up right now. We got a new easy era. We got um the whole new pack stuff. We got lots and lots and lots of crazy new stuff for Global and of course JP. They the easy as well. It's all live in the game, all ready to go. My back oh, I take this pillow off. Oh, that would hurt my back a little bit. But yeah, um, I don't know if it's sure. Maybe it's a little bit too tight because I've been losing a lot of weight lately. So yeah, so it's gotta get a little bit too tight now. Um, some of these older shirts are starting to get a little bit too tight, a little bit loose and stuff like that. So yeah, um, of course we gotta do Baba Shop um, um pack right here. Um, Baba Shop peel off tropes pack. Um, of course you can get this in the game, purchase it however you want to do it. It is only six ninety nine, so I'll probably say go for it. Really easy, really simple. You get seven um tickets. You get um five candy canes, even though there still should be Halloween pumpkins. Come on, Dogen, get it right. Um. We got um, Ghost Ushers, um, the Boral Cookie, pretty simple stuff. Um, this stuff kind of comes around. I know um, no item images are actually keys, I think. So yeah, um, I can't remember the last one. I don't think it was a Dragon Stone, I can't remember. It might be a trading location. I cannot remember. But yeah, um, the big thing right here with the um, Halloween tickets right here, you guys see some, there's a banner you actually summon on and get them. Uh, this lasts up until um, November 12th, so again, I'll probably upload this a day later or something like that. But yeah, um, it's like up uh, until um, October 12th. I mean, November 12th. So again, we're on this time, so the 5th. We'll probably go change this boot come around for global. I don't know how the um, I don't know how it's gonna be structured just yet though. But for global we definitely should see these guys sooner or later. I'm just saying though in my opinion. Um I go right here, I said part two, um there's gonna be missions for part twos and stuff like that right here. Um that I kinda just found. Um again, I was like, holy crap, so are we gonna get like a part two for this? Because um I guess Halloween because like a mini part two because they said the stuff is last up to the fifth slash twelfth. So we'll probably see Go tanks and boo around middle of um November around go tanks and about um Murazamasu and I wanna say Trunks of Time slot because they were around November of last year. I remember when they got leaked and stuff like that, you know, they were coming next to global. I think my internet actually came went out that day, so unfortunately they couldn't cover all the big main news. So yeah. Um so yeah though, basically, um again, we should see the stuff again, those who are coming up later in the game and stuff like that. Typical stuff, blah blah blah, blah. but yeah. For, again, we could see a part two. Again, it's highly doubtable because you know it just said part two right here. Again, we don't know the missions kids subject. The missions could actually change in the future. Again, we don't know how it's gonna be structured or anything like that. So again, because in the future, we could not. I don't know how it's gonna be structured, but yeah. Um, again, though, we definitely should see this stuff in the, sooner in the game. Again, I don't know how they're gonna do part two because you know go and stuff like that. Scheduling off. Could we just get, get Super Seventeen? That's easy and now this could be in about a week's time. Um. Can I give you though? I can't. I can't remember what's off my head. But yeah, again, we definitely should see um part two missions, maybe in the future. I don't know how it's gonna be structured, but um, Global did get a new banner right here. Um, the Halloween banner you can use four stones on this, but then after that it'll come fifty stones. You get one SSR per guaranteed multi, like it usually is, but I think it's not a guaranteed feature. I think it's just one SSR per multi. Um, it's weird because they were already doing that for Global anyway, though. But yeah, the banner really is insane. They know that they're they were they were doing. There's a ticket banner which you can buy, like I said. Um. That's where the whole ticket comes from. You can go to the PLF Troves, get that, and you can um, purchase it. And some of the ticket version of this banner, again, so you can only do it once. I think you get, like, of course you get 10 characters, but one of them is at the SSR is free. So SSR is not free, but um, one SSR guarantee every multi. It's not guaranteed feature, they would have said that, but yeah. It can be any of these guys right here, so yeah. Uh, Transformer Jay probably the big downside, because again, they, he's been back 5,000 times. But yeah, the big news on here, for me it's Android 13 and Future Go On, of course they now have came back. They've been MIA for a long time, they have not came back. Because I don't think the schedule is come back from Global for a long minute. Um, because they haven't been back on recent banners lately. But again, Future Go On 13 probably hit my biggest point. Cooler and Bardock, they just came back and stuff like that. And Kyogen Blue Goku, I guess bringing back the units that, again, I don't feel like banner really was necessary, but I guess it's throwing like, okay, here's, um, a Dill Confess thing, because we all know Global and JV having campaigns at the same time, you know, JV getting LR Freezes, LR Freezes campaign stuff, Global getting this stuff, again, little hits and bits and stuff like that here and there. But yeah, like I said though, um, again, the very bad because Brought Out Cooler, again, they just came back from Global and stuff like that, but if you weren't unfortunate enough to get them, here you go. Um, also, um, I know for Kaki and Blue Goku, again, I feel like they kind of brought these guys back because they're not going to be back for a long time. In my opinion, again, that's probably why I said they brought them back. Even my campaign celebration breakdown video, I did say the events were going to come back. That means they're going to be on the banner because there's no dope events, fest events usually come back and they don't, um, they don't announce everybody on the banner. That means they're going to be on the banner. 
and stuff like that. I mean, they're going to be on there no matter what. So that's how it's going to be structured there. So yeah, again, I feel like they just brought the banner up to be like, okay, these dudes aren't going to come back for like 5,000 times. They're just doing a filler banner because, you know, we have nothing else going on. You know, easy aid for um, Kim Khalifa here. Oh yeah, again. I know a lot of people are disappointed for that. I know we're, we're technically supposed to get the AGL Meta Cooler, the AGL Cooler from the Bottle Shop and the Int Freezer from the Full Power Freezer campaign, um, Full Power Freezer event. They're supposed to get the Awakenings because of, um, for um, El Goku and stuff like that. I thought like they could kind of do it last second, but again, Goba is kind of like off schedule, kind of doing their own thing a little bit. So again, I want to say we could get Goba first for Christmas, because we already got kind of this banner for, um, you know, Halloween. But I know Goba had another exclusive banner way back in the day. It had like SCR Gogeta, Physical Kid Boo, and I want to say Physical um, Broly. Um, way back when, uh, that was like a filler global banner. They do had a similar one back then too, it had like Papar Freezer on it and stuff like that, and Ultimate Gohan. I feel like the banner's up here just to be like, okay, global, let's get a little time padding thing. But yeah, again, the banner's really good though. Again, there's a ticket version of it. You can purchase the Bob Shop, you can purchase the um ticket, get that, and boom, there you go. But yeah, um, like I said previously though, again, this is just here to kind of fill out time and stuff like that. Not because, you know, go take some boo, but probably because of that. And plus, you know, you can just say these guys aren't going to come back a long time. Because if we have Future Gohan, 17, and Captain Blue Goku, well, he's supposed to come back with Frieza though. And it's probably not going to be until like February because, you know, March are going to do same day stuff. But yeah, um, again, but just here to be like, okay, we have brought the units back in like 5,000 times. Let's just bring them back here. But yeah. Um, of course, we got the ticket version of the banner. Um, we got the main big boy right here. Um, the main part of the video, which I completely forgot. Um, we are getting easy area for, of course, Gotenks and Boo, um, Gotenks and, um, Ghost Gotenks, and, of course, the Candy Vegito. Uh, oh, Candy Vegito's PNG is just like that right there, but yeah. Um, but like stuff, honestly, for this easy area. Um, I heard it's pretty easy, I heard it's, you know, pretty easy and stuff like that. Again, it's for both Global and JP, so you wanna, it's all covered up in one video. The friend you can use is the Baba Shop, um, not Baba Shop, um, the last year Halloween unit. Literally came out, literally, at times recording, like, Wednesday? Like, literally, almost, like, a year ago today slash so yesterday ish or other day whatever you live and stuff like that set your time zone that um trunks uh, um trunks and um baba shop um uh, um trunks are great salmon outfit did come out almost a year ago so yeah i feel like he can get an easy a and i want to say next year he can get easy area also with the um pan and um go on i feel like they can get easy a's next year because they um again i feel like they're gonna follow the structure you know past two units are gonna get easy a or past two units are gonna get easy a and this halloween use a new hall we got a new halloween unit they're gonna get the previous one's gonna get an easy a again i feel like they're gonna follow the structure in the next couple of years and stuff like that so, um again next october i could be completely wrong but yeah um, okay, of course you fight Vegito and stuff like that, and of course Candy Vegito, and of course, um, Ghost Go Tanks. Um, the units you use right here are pretty, honestly, not that bad. It'd be Goku, again, you can, that's why they brought back his event, so you can, um, bring with him completely 100%. He should be pretty solid. Um, Gopal Gohan and Pan should be really good here. Um, Ghost Go Tanks should be, uh, yeah, um, yeah, for the, yeah, for Vegito, easily, and, like, yeah, Ghost Go Tanks. Um, because they want you easy to use as you do the event, like, they want you, you to get a whole bunch of battles and easy to them at the same time. Um, him, the Int Go Tank down there, and I want to say Int Vegito and Boma. I feel like they brought them back so you can do that. Um, again, Candy Vegito and of course Go, go, go Tanks are the main units you have to bring. Um, it, but they don't have really any good leaders so. though. I'll say besides Tech Vegito, I think his leader skills are okay. I can't remember. Again, it's. No, it, oh, um, ooh, Physical Go Tanks down there. He's gonna be really good for Int Go Tanks, for um, Ghost Go Tanks. He could be a good leader. Yeah, he's going to be amazing, because he can be the um, leader for all these guys. B-Pan is going to be, you can run her on the team if you feel like it. You can run... You just do kind of suck-ish, but yeah, Grandpa Gohan, you're not going to run him. Um... A-Big Goku's going to be pretty good. The physical Pan's going to be pretty good. Again, units you, you can use here are pretty okay. Some of them are kind of hit and miss here. Um, of course, you have to, um, the friend they give you is um, trash, you know. Not trash, but um, far early to scale for youth. No, no, um, yeah, you can run double youth. Double youth. For the um, because um the um, Grey Salmon Trunks and Grey Salmon outfit um, but yeah Grey Salmon Trunks Kid Trunks, yeah because he does have a youth leader skill. And you can run B Pan with him. You can run go. You can run the physical Go Tanks for the um other leader for um Ghost Go Tanks. You can run the physical Pan. Yeah, the units here are pretty solid though. You can't use them though. But again, like I said, typical paths um down here. If you um don't so know about these eight areas for the left path you'll get bronze for a Z heart if you do Z heart you get two to three bronze on the left path for the right path you get seven silver um if you do a question mark you get five bronze or fourteen silver super um does for left path five gold five rainbow for the right path question mark gives you um ten or more um ten um rainbow or gold so usually here you can really kind of get creative because you can use B Pan she's free completely free you can use um Halloween unit from last year you can use a big Goku. You could use this pan. No, she kind of sucks. So this pan not gonna be really good either because she's gonna support AGL. 
Yeah, him and Vegeta are probably not going to be good here either. Because I'm Vegito. That's only, yeah, him and the trash go right there. You can run him. You can run him if you really wanted to. Again, some of these units are kind of hit and miss here, but you could pretty easily, because again, when they make up kind of trash units like this, they kind of just I tend to make the um, area, easy area, really easy. Yeah. Full breakdown for these units, though, for Go Tanks. Um, <clears throat> um, again, I didn't, it didn't change that much from him last year and stuff like that. Again, when guys, um, you know, Awakening and stuff like that, again, it didn't change that much anyway. So, again, Baba Shop, um, not Baba Shop, oh my gosh. I think it was a Baba Shop event. Um, I'm trying to think of it right now. Um, Go Tanks? Not Go Tanks, um, Great Salmon Trunks. He probably will get a ZA next year. Um, then you know, probably year after that, I'll probably get like one to um, Grandpa Gohan and Pan. They're you know gonna release a new unit. I thought they could do it. You know, wait a year after, and they're like, okay, let's just easy these guys, whatever. So yeah, um, excuse me though. Yeah, it's like yeah, the um first day they came out. Yeah, it came out October twenty first. The yeah, I remember Candy Vegeta. I think he came out on Halloween day. He might have because I think I was um handing out Candy Trick or Treaters and I um, made a video for him at the very last second. Uploaded it like literally the last second before Halloween ended. Like that exactly day ended. Um, but yeah though, um. They really tend that much for him anyway. He can, he's gonna be really good for fusion support battle rope because of his leader skill. You don't have any other units. It's the secondary leader skill part for Ant is gonna be pretty solid. Um, the uh, orbs are gonna be really good for him healing up and stuff like that. That's gonna be missing for him again. It's gonna be kind of a neutral for um, Ant, um, 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 Ant orbs. But yeah, if you want to use him and Kaioken Blue Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta, like when they come, when they come global, you want to you want to run this guy. He'll um, help out with them uh, significantly because he's gonna change orb. You can help them out again. The unit didn't exist back then, so now that's really good because, um, specifically though, um, um, you can use um, them and this guy together because they're gonna be, um, me again, probably not, you know, the Final Fantasy Trump card, no, he isn't crap. I say you could run them on the same team if you really just, you mean, don't care about the teams, the categories, or whatever. Um, you could probably run them on the same team. Oh, yeah, Hyper Saiyan, Pure Saiyan, because you can run if you have Ella God Goku, you can run him and him in the. Um, Kalkan, physical Kalkan Blue and Evolution Blue Vegeta Goku. Um, you remember the same team? Again, the kids can help them out with Rainbow Orbs and stuff like that. Really, really good. Again, they changed him not much from last year. Candy Vegeta, they completely changed him. I'm kind of glad because I feel like you kind of need this update. Again, he's going to be dodging for, um, you know, he's going to disable his enemy's guard, first of all. He's going to be dodging a lot. And he's going to give himself a lot, of, a lot of attack and, of course, defense for every non key, the tech key orb. But yeah, again, if you have a lot of non tech key orbs in the field, um, there you go. And, of course, for, um, Every tech orb you get, he's gonna help out. So yeah, basically you can go attack defense, or you just want to go pure defense. You can go with that um, non tech orb. So yeah, kind of like Elder Broly, Chile, and Limbo, you can kind of get creative. If you don't feel like I'm um, having a lot of attack defense, or you just want to focus mainly on defense, there you go. So yeah, a really good amazing for him. They made him really good. I love his unit. Um, again, probably go full digital for him because he does great, really raise attack defense up for one turn. Go by Gohan and Pan. Um, like I said before. Um, again, um, really solid unit, they're just really going to be stacking a lot of damage. I'd probably say go four additional for them, because they're going to raise up their defense for one turn. Even if it's just for one turn, I'd probably say go four additional, because they are going to be amazing. Um, for probably longer events, they're going to be really good. Again, they're going to be running Goku Family um, team units. If you're wondering how to get these guys, you can get them a new story bit right here. It's up, it should be live in the game. Goku Family or, um, coming with how category units will do, um, extra drops. So this should be really easy to get these guys. Again, even if you're a new player, even a couple months in, even a couple weeks, maybe, I already have a ton of ARs. Goku family units, there you go. So yeah. Um I know the new ticket banner out and stuff like that. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, um, oh yeah, because I'm gonna talk about this for the ticket global ticket banner. I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at this because um, you know, because you know with Kyle Gimble Goku, he's gonna be probably back on this freezer banner right here. Um when it comes out for JP or Global Probably again we'll say February maybe. Um however you go structure though. But yeah, again, cooler and Kalkin Blue Goku, they're gonna not be back for a while. And of course, again, they're all gonna be on the same banner right there, so it's gonna be kind of structured there as well. So yeah, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad about this because you know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, skip it. Something I do say skip um summon or maybe get the PLF trope because again, it's worth it. It's only sixty six bucks, six ninety nine plus tax, and it's really worth it. It's only that cheap. It's really good. And on top of that, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad because of um you know um don't summon on it blah blah blah, blah because you know because again they're not gonna be scheduled to come back this is all i was kind of talking about enjoy 13 future go on they're not gonna be back for like a long time forget triple and vegeta he's gonna be back on the kyle blue goku banner and evolution blue vegeta banner lr when they come out for global in december it's always confirmed plug me in december or you know global first december i don't really structure it but yeah um again they're not gonna be back for a long while so i guess that's why i kind of banner i was talking about it because not a lot of people like this oh, um you know because a lot of people oh yeah skip this banner um, again, for discounts, I say go for it. There's only four stones, should be really simple and easy to grind up. Especially if you're a new player, just starting out right now, go ahead and try to do it. Again, you could get, you could get some of the best units in the game in Cooler, Bardock, um, again, I put him, Beerus, and I want to say, um, 
I you know, always say him, Beerus, and I want to say Kepla. Maybe we're on the same tier? Because, uh, again, the cooler for me is just basically, uh, you know, Bardock for me um, is basically cooler and Beerus combined in one. But yeah, like I said previously, though, uh, if we're going to take some boot, again, the Bears are simply just okay, in my opinion. The Bears are okay. I'll probably say um, something on the, I would say something on this banner, because, again, for Global, you know, it could be something for a long time, unless it's something on Freeze's banner. His banner is actually really good. Um, like I said, go take some boot specifically. The Bears are okay. If you're like a new player and stuff like that, you're going to love it. Because uh, the Bros. Puck is easy around this time to anyway. But yeah, the Bears are just simply okay, in my opinion. They're okay. Again, Piccolo um, is going to be really good. Again, in trucks and go, go tanks right here are going to be really okay. But again, by the time we get this guy, he's probably going to have his easy A by then. He's probably going to be busting me broken. How you want to feel like it? It just go to Mazda Vegeta to just come back though. Again, the Bears are okay. I probably want to say something on these if you're like an older, older player. Because again, all these guys have been back 5,000 times. They've been on every Dual Dual Confess banner. Again, the Bears are simply just okay, in my opinion. Again, it's going to be out for November. That's why I want to talk about this because it's a celebration getting around November 5th. So, you know, 10th, 12th, how you want to pronounce it. Yeah, again, the Bears are simply just okay, in my opinion. They're just okay. That's how I structure it. They're just pretty much okay, in my opinion. Because um, I know for Global, specifically, I know a lot of people are going to try something on this Kyokin Blue Goku Evolution Blue Vegeta banner. Just something on this banner is completely trash, because there's nothing on here for you guys. No good value. Every unit been back 5,000 times. Do not summon in. It sucks. I know a lot of people are going to try something for the Tenabata banner as well. Because I know it's going to be for Global for Christmas, because, you know, last year we didn't get it. A lot of people were complaining. What's well, the Tanabata banner? They saved it for Christmas. So, yeah. Again, we can see Tanabata for Christmas. And these guys, the Blue Fusion, are going to be back on here. Again, it's going to be a lower rate, because, you know, they do, I think it's like 5% for these guys and 3%. But these guys, they're not going to be available with coins. So, I'm just telling you guys that now. But these guys are going to be available with coins. It's going to be more worth it to save your coins for there. I know Bardock and Cooler, um, I know all the new units for Global specifically right now. Um... These guys, I know they're all going to be available with coins as well, but again, they're not going to be back for a while, so it's probably just kind of like a misfits like pack banner to bring these guys in here to be like, okay, we're not going to see these guys for like 5,000 months, so just bring them here. But yeah, so I really want to go to today, again though, pretty good easy area, really good awakenings for the um, Halloween units from last year. Amazingly good, again, um, this one was banner, no, not this one. Um, this banner is pretty trash, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh yeah, go take the boo, are so amazing, even though the banners are kind of okay. But you know, Global's got discounts, coins, tickets, full celebration, Thanksgiving stuff, however you want to pronounce it, Darky Day, Fall Animation, there you go, so. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, but yeah, pretty good um, updates time around though, again. Um, banner, um, overall, pretty solid though, again, I'd probably say go for it, it's only 40 stones, but now that it's going to be 50 stones, a lot of people got summon on it, and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty solid time around though, but yeah, like I said, going to go ahead and end here, sorry ranting on for a little bit longer, but yeah. Um, really easy area again, pretty short stuff like that. Really good units, I'm um, here and there, but yeah. Um, again, a lot of people because I'm on the Freezer Banner, that's what I was talking about specifically. Um, because the guys aren't gonna be back for like a really, really, really long time anyway, though. So, in my opinion, I'm like, okay, um, let's just you know bring these guys back really, really nearly and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's how it's gonna be structured and stuff like that. Before. So, yeah, gonna go ahead and end the video here. I would talk a little bit more, but yeah, Freezer Banner is probably gonna be more worth it in the future. I'll probably say something on that because, uh, like I said, though, not a lot of people are gonna spend on Boo, Go Takes, and Kalkin Boo Goku. So, for a long time, I feel like that's the bar guys just save up the stone because those bears are really worth it, in my opinion. So, let's go take the Boo. A lot of people are gonna summon on them specifically, though. But, yeah, see you guys there, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, great luck. All cool jokes again, though. Like I said, ran long enough. Didn't really need to talk like that, but yeah, just want to get all my points out. These guys aren't gonna be, these guys aren't gonna be back for like five thousand months anyway. Though, so that's why I said they got probably put them up on this banner again, just more of a misfit like things. Yeah, these guys are though, again though. It's out.